Just like previous versions, Apple's newest operating system, El Capitan, released in late 2015, does not come on an external disk or any other media. It's only available via the Mac App Store. Whether you have several systems to upgrade, want to perform a clean install, or just want to keep a copy for local use and do not want to have to re-download the 6GB or so multiple times, thankfully creating a USB bootable drive is a relatively straightforward affair. To begin with, you'll need a USB flash drive that's at least 8GB in size, or an external hard disk. Note that you will need to format the disk before you, so ensure any data is backed up beforehand. Finally, you'll need to ensure your target Mac system has adequate system requirements, although if it's able to run Mavericks or Yosemite, it'll be fine for the latest release. The first step involves preparing the external drive. USB 2 will be fine, but USB 3 based drives will naturally be a lot faster. Insert the drive into your Mac based system and proceed to open Disk Utility. Select the drive and click on the Arrays tab and format the drive as Mac OS Extended Journaled, changing the name of the drive to OS X, and click Erase to confirm. Now click the Partitions tab. Select one partition from the drop down list, change the default untitled one back to OS X, check the format which should be correct from the previous step, and then click the options button. Ensure GUID partition table is selected and hit OK. Click apply and confirm the creation of the partition. Once complete, exit disk utility. The drive has now been prepared and is ready for the next step. The next step involves entering the App Store and downloading El Capitan. The download is around 6GB in size, so the speed of download will depend upon your internet connection speed. Once downloaded, the installer will run automatically. Do not proceed, since it will delete itself after install. Instead, quit the installer. Don't worry though, since the 6GB download is safely sitting in your applications folder. Launch a new terminal window which is located within the Applications Utilities folder or searchable within Spotlight. Now copy the following command into the terminal window. You'll find this command in the description box under this video, although upon copying check the command closely. Sometimes a rogue hyphen character works its way into the command when pasting, so check each character and ensure it's correct. Once confirmed hit return to run the command. Enter the system admin password when prompted, although notice how the cursor will not move, but continue to type your password and hit return. Now let the system do its thing. It may take a while depending upon the speed of your internal drive as well as the speed of the external USB drive you're copying onto, so it could take anywhere up to 30 minutes. Sit tight and wait for confirmation. Once the confirmation text is displayed, you can safely exit out of the terminal window. And that's all there is to it. The USB drive has now been prepared, conveniently renamed, and is ready to use, whether that's to upgrade your current operating system, or by performing a clean install, which involves shutting down your Mac, inserting the USB drive, booting the Mac and hitting the option key, and selecting to boot from the external USB drive, in order to begin your clean installation of OS X El Capitan.